Uh, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, please do feel welcome. Uh, on today's video, I am going to crack on and just tell you what I am planning to do uh, on this video. Uh, as you are uh, most aware, the cost of living, especially uh, in the household, is really skyrocketed, especially in the last couple of months. And one of the things that I want to uh, really advise, because this is something that I have taken up as a family, is how to be energy efficient and to winterproof your um, home this winter. For us as a family, we have adjusted and uh, we are doing a few things to make sure that we are consuming less of energy so that we can at least manage to have as much uh, credit as possible when uh, it comes to the winter months, especially because we do not know how harsh the winter might turn up. So I will show you a few bits of what we have done to adjust and uh, yeah, maybe you can pick up uh, some things and uh, also do that in your own homes. So yeah, let's get on. Uh, so guys, one of the things that you do want to have, uh, especially this winter in your house, is to be, have a smart meter. This is the smart meter that I use. I've had this smart meter for over five years. I installed it as soon as we moved into this house. Uh, to be fair, I haven't really kind of monitored my smart meter until recently when the last six months, the energy... Uh, crisis started and the bills uh, doubled in price so uh, for me the smart meter has been a godsend and a lifesaver when it comes to uh, monitoring uh, my uh, energy uses so on this uh, gas meter i will uh, smart meter i will show you uh, for example uh, my consumption uh, for the day so let's have a look uh, adjust so you can see this is electricity and I want to just check uh, how much electricity I have used uh, for today so I go there I check on history and then I go daily or today depending on what I want to check and uh, I just want to see how much I have consumed so this is how much I've consumed so uh, at certain points during the day I have used more power than other times uh, I will also be checking on daily usage so uh, so far today I have used uh, 3.9 uh, 2 kilowatts per hour and that has cost me one pound and 34 uh, pence so uh, I am on amber when it comes to uh, my uh, consumption for today so uh, I am not very good neither am I very bad because I am not on red but generally uh, we are talking let's say for the last for this month which is the last nine days uh, let's see how much I have consumed I have consumed so far this month uh, 50.2 kilowatts and I have spent 17 pounds uh, in total payments for this month. So uh, today being the 7th, the 9th and I have spent that much so we round it up for another uh, 20 more days so at average I will have spent around 50-55 pounds for this month but uh, on that note uh, it's not yet into the winter so I am very we uh, much aware that uh, when it comes to winter because of obviously heating uh, the cost will go uh, quite high but I am keeping a uh, uh, an eye so that I know I will not be consuming much so with the gas uh, you can see, I can see uh, the history and I will be checking as well how much I have used 
uh, for the month. So I am checking how much I have used uh, this month. So we will see. So you can see this week I have this this uh, month uh, that is first of October to 9th of October. I have only used uh, 71.2 uh, kilowatts per hour and at the cost of five pounds 32 pence which to be fair it is really good especially because we haven't yet started heating the house and i know when we do start it'll be quite quite expensive when uh, you have to run uh, the heating 24 hours basically uh it's just knowing the ways that you need to do to be able to uh, consume less uh, so that said, this is my smart meter. Uh, I can keep track of the usage of my gas and electric uh, on a daily basis, on actually uh, on an hourly, hourly basis. So having like a smart meter, guys, is something that I would highly recommend because, believe me, it is able to tell you and to show you the things that are actually uh, consuming a lot of energy around your house so it is something that i would highly recommend uh, going for. another thing that we have done as a family is uh as you can see i have a kettle on the gas uh stove we do have another kettle which is an electric kettle we have actually stopped using this it is only when we are using uh, anything that uh, needs a lot of water like making pasta or such kind of dishes then we use the kettle to boil the water which is faster but because of not using the kettle uh, electric kettle we have actually saved quite a lot uh, only to make a, a simple cup of tea or or, or, or coffee uh, this kettle uh, on the gas is consuming so little uh, gas energy so that is something that i would highly recommend that uh, you use going forward uh, another thing guys we have changed completely when it comes to our uh, bath habits is we have completely cut out having a bath uh, so uh, we have adjusted as a family to just have a bath maybe once a week uh that said we have adjusted ourselves and we only do take showers so uh we do take showers uh, two, uh six times a week and then one time um uh, uh, uh maybe over the weekend we decide it is time to give us a little bit of 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 um uh relaxing time so then we can have a full bath which uh from experience uh you will see that you are actually using a lot of gas to fill up a whole bath just to run for one even for that one day so uh those are things that we have changed so as a family we had we are adjusting to things so that we can be able to be uh, energy efficient and energy um, safe when it comes to these harsh winter months. Oh, another thing I need to say as well is when we are running the showers, we are actually running the shower. The boiler has been turned down to only heat up the water up to 40 uh, degrees centigrade. So that way you are just having a nice warm shower rather than a hot steaming shower, which at the end of the day is also consuming a lot of energy as well uh the other things guys we have done is to switch off uh when we are not like for example when we are not using the uh, microwave to completely switch it off from the main so that way there is no uh electricity coming through uh for the toaster we switch it off from there so there is no supply just a little bit of standby uh energy which is not actually on there because it's completely switched off so the devices that we are trying as much as possible if you're not using any devices for example uh with a television 
when we are going to bed in the evening we completely switched off from the mains that way there is no devices which will be recording overnight for programs that you have uh programmed as pre-recorded and all that kind of stuff so that way you are also able to uh reduce your energy consumption another one a big one when it comes to the dishwasher and the washing machine is also to be aware uh, it is important to run uh, your dishwasher when it is completely full. Another thing when it comes to the dishwasher and the washing machine is to be aware to run them during the off-peak hours. I usually do run, I have done that for years. I usually do run my washing machine and my dishwasher uh, past uh, 9 o'clock. That way I know I am consuming less energy and also make sure that when I run both my washing machine and my dishwashers, they are fully uh, loaded. They are not either halves or or or, or uh, running on on um, not the energy efficient cycles. Uh, with the, the uh, washing machine, like for example, for mine, I usually do uh, some programs. They are already preset but you can be able to actually manually uh preset the temperatures so sometimes like when you're washing um let's say the white cottons and all that kind of stuff instead the preset is at 90 degrees but you can easily run your cycle on 40 degrees so i manually change that to 40 degrees for drying your clothes because this is a washer dryer uh you can rather instead of drying the clothes completely just to get them to, to iron you can just dry them on just the lowest so that they still have moisture which is good especially when they come out straight and you need to iron uh, those are the, the little things that we as a family we have done and i can tell you i have seen a lot of changing changes when it comes to how we are consuming and how we are managing to save quite a bit uh, another thing which uh, we have done and which is very important is also the fact that uh, as well as having uh, my smart meter I also do have an app from the energy company that I use which uh, shows me how much credit I still do have on my account and that way each and every day every um, amount of energy that I use the money is actually deducted as I go. So that way I can be able to keep track of my, uh, not only of my usage, but I can also keep track of uh, how much uh, money I have uh, in store for uh, to fortify me when it comes to any harsh winter months. And I can also be able, if if necessary then to top up in case uh i run low on credit i am on a direct debit um uh, account so i do pay 200 and as you can see there 232 pounds i, I pay 124 for electric electricity and i pay 112 for gas and uh, as you can see, I am in credit at 930 at as of 9th of October. So that said, I am, I know in a sense, I still have quite a bit to uh, push me through if winter comes in biting and hard. So guys, uh, those are the little things that we have done and adjusted as a family and I am sure you can pick a few things and adjust also for your family, uh, having a smart meter, uh, doing things differently around your, ha your, 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 your home and also making sure that you are working hard to have cr credit in your account rather than uh, using and paying as you go. Uh, so guys, if you found this video helpful, uh, please do uh, leave a comment, uh, give, it, give us a thumbs up and uh, a like. And also remember, you can subscribe so that you do not miss when I send out 
videos of this kind and especially when it comes to uh, the coming months when things are quite uh, going to be very uncertain and uh, I can give you tips and hacks on how you can be able to uh, to be able to run your home and your house efficiently. So guys, thank you very much for uh, stopping by and I do hope to see you in the next one. So bye for now.